man, my original PlayStation. I haven't used this in years. And Tomb Raider. I love this game. Get out of here, Ouya. Nobody likes you. You're perfect, Nintendo. Don't ever change. Man, this is a lot better than I remembered. I didn't know the PS1 could do pixel shading. Hey everybody, I'm the Linux Gamer and I just played Tomb Raider. It's a third-person action adventure developed by Crystal Dynamics, published by Square Enix, and brought to Linux and SteamOS by Feral Interactive. Tomb Raider was released for Linux April 27th, 2016. I received this game from Feral for the purpose of review. Tomb Raider is a reboot of the classic PS1 games of the same name. The game looks great, especially for being originally released in 2013. Tomb Raider controls well, especially with a Steam controller, with the default settings providing a great overall experience. The island, while it serves as a background for the game's story, feels like a habitable place, aside from the killer residents. Tomb Raider has a number of set pieces that push the game's story forward. They provide a cinematic feel that sometimes sacrifices player control for a more movie-like experience. These moments are rather frequent, asking the player for a token gesture of interaction, like a button press or a wiggle of the analog stick. At the beginning of the game, these quick-time events are frequent, but they happen with less frequency as the game progresses. While quick-time events can distract from the overall experience, the title's gameplay is satisfying and exhilarating. The gunplay is tremendous, some of the best third-person shooting mechanics I've played in recent memory. Littered throughout the island are crates of scrap. You can use the scrap to upgrade your weapons. You also earn experience points by performing certain actions, which allow you to give Lara new abilities. I think my favorite aspect of the game is the exploration. Being able to find hidden areas, collect mysterious journals, GPS modules, or ancient relics. It adds to the texture of the island, and the adventuring truly shines here. I very often feel like Indiana Jones when playing this game. The biggest disappointment for me was the fact that there wasn't a whole lot of puzzle solving to do. Puzzle solving is one of my favorite aspects of any game, and I hope that in future iterations of Tomb Raider we can see more puzzles. Tomb Raider's performance is rather hit and miss for me on my GTX 970 powered desktop. Full specs are down in the description. Using the default settings, the title soars to 70 frames per second, but there are times where it dips down below 30. Such extremes cause rough and unpredictable gameplay, but overall the game runs pretty well most of the time. Tomb Raider is played from a third-person perspective, which lends to a more realized character of Lara Croft, and her story is a compelling one. Croft feels like a three-dimensional character to me, with a strong sense of self and purpose. She never feels incompetent or needing assistance. She has a sense of agency that many female characters in games lack, and I appreciate that. While Lara feels like a fully realized character, her companions are paper thin, and many of the emotional scenes that have other characters in them fall flat. But when Lara is by herself, there's an emotional impact that is palpable. I do feel like the game abuses her in an unrealistic manner, like she recovers quickly from life-threatening injuries, but you know, it's a game. Tomb Raider is a great game. From its scenic vistas to its damp caves, the world feels real and full of life. Lara is a strong female character who holds her own among the men in her world. The game is beautiful, the controls are precise, and the adventure is just beginning. I'd recommend Tomb Raider to anyone who loves action-adventure or third-person titles. It's available for Linux and SteamOS through Feral's website and Steam. Links are in the description. Have you played Tomb Raider? What do you think of it? Leave me a comment and let me know, or tweet at me at the Linux Gamer. You might consider supporting videos like this over on Patreon. Feel free to check out the rest of my channel, including my top 5 Ubuntu controversies, or my review of Saints Row the Third. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and share it with your friends. And make sure you subscribe to see more from me, the Linux Gamer. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry, Ouya. I'd rather have you than an Xbox One.